Hi guys! Today's video is a favourites video. I haven't done one for a while, uh, but this month I've got so many things that I've actually been absolutely loving that I really wanted to talk about them. And I'm going to talk about hair first because I've really, really been going on and on about my hair for a while. If you look back at my blog, I did a whole week of hair and I finished up with Hair Oscars where I had all my kind of my best in categories and all of that kind of stuff. So this month I've really been trying to get my hair back into shape, get it back into some kind of healthy, shiny, manageable, kind of frizz-free condition, which I can actually try and style myself at home because I'm so bad at doing it. And I've really been kind of going for it. And if you can see that it is looking a lot shinier, a lot healthier, I think. Uh, it's not so frizzy. I've got no frizz products in here at all. It is just purely just the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask that I used before, and the heat protect spray, obviously. So I'm just gonna start with what I've been using. I've been using the Vartica hair oils for the longest time. I've been buying these forever. You get them in the Indian food shops and I think you can get them in Tesco and Sainsbury's and places like that now. So I've been using that and I've it featured in my hair Oscars a while ago. So I was really intrigued when I found out that they had just launched this, which is the Vartica Night Repair Hair Cream. And it's literally just a white cream that is, it's really kind of, it's quite thick, but not unmanageable and you just kind of put it in your hair overnight, I would just keep it on the damaged bits and sleep in it and wash it out the next morning. So I did try that and I did. F I feel, felt it made a difference but it really was, I find it very difficult to work with, it made my hair quite sticky and a little bit kind of just unmanageable while, not that you have to do much with it, you're just tying it back and, and uh, sleeping in it. So the next time I used it, I, what I did was I mixed the Night Repair hair cream with the almond oil which I had in the house and I mixed some of this together and I'll do a video for this actually if you want to see how I did this and it was so much easier to put in my hair it just went in a lot easier it was easier to move around in my hair easier to put my hair back into a plait or into a little bun and I did this last night actually and washed it out this morning and that is all I have done like I said I've not got any frizz products in my hair at all frizz control products I mean so the shine that you're seeing is literally because I've used this mask and there's even the ends are not frizzy I mean it's just it's worked wonders and it's given me just kind of back the kind of hair that I want and the other thing that's been working for my hair is the Louise Galvin Sacred Locks shampoo for fine hair so that's what I've been using because it gives you the shine and the volume without kind of weighing down the hair there's no build-up and it's moisturizing as well which is what you want for fine hair because my hair's dry and fine, it's got everything, got every problem you want to throw at it, it's got it going on. So my hair's fly away and it's frizzy and all of that stuff. And the Louise Galvin range is just really natural, there's no nasties in it at all. I love her ethos for her hair care. And I did, I was using the treatment mask for the fine hair as well. So I probably will alternate between the Vartica one and the Louise Galvin one. But this is my kind of every wash little luxury. It isn't cheap but at the moment I'm making my hair my priority more than anything else so this has definitely earned its place in my shower and to blow dry my hair I have been using the Babyliss New Big Hair it's what I used just now it gave me a little bit of volume, a little bit of movement it's given it bucket loads of shine and I haven't used any glossing products or anything like that at all I just love this. It's not new and I've been using these for four years and this is my fourth one and that's not because that they've broken. I just, I, I just can't be without it. So I bought one. I actually took it on holiday with me. I never ever take heated appliances on holiday with me. I just like my hair to go natural on holiday. I took it on holiday with me and actually left it for my friend in India because she couldn't get it there. I don't know if you can buy it in India now but at the time you couldn't get an India, so I left it there for her because I knew she would love it. Literally bought another one when I was in the taxi on the way home from the airport from that holiday. Literally went online and just bought it so it was delivered to me within a day or two. Then I bought another one to take away with me and leave in a holiday home somewhere else. So I've got one hanging out there. I took one holiday with me this summer and finally after three years, after three years? Yes, three years, that one broke. I think I just didn't pack it very well so I bought this new one and it is I think it's been slightly updated because it just works better faster quieter it's much lighter 
and now you can actually get it with two brush heads, a bigger brush head and a slightly smaller brush head, which is great for kind of my layers as well. And it just is amazing. And I would say that this is probably the best investment that I have made for my hair. And I know that that's a huge, bold statement, but hear me out. It costs about £45, so by the time I've gone for two blow dries at the salon, this has paid for itself. And if you live in central London, one blow dry, it's paid for itself. And it's so, so, so easy to use. And I'll show you really quickly, if you can bear the noise, you just, it's got a little slidey um, switch here. So you kind of click it up once for a cold blast, but it doesn't turn. Oh, I didn't say what it does. It's a hot air styling brush. So I'm sure you've seen it, but if you haven't, this rotates and there's hot air coming out of it as well. So you kind of, you don't need three pair, three hands to blow dry your hair because this does all the work for you. You slide up the switch. I'm going to show you if you can bear the noise. You slide up the switch and then you just section the hair, press one of these buttons here that turns it. You can see it turns it one way or the other way. So those are your directional buttons and literally you just section the hair and take a section and there it is. And you can flip out the ends if you like. Oh, I love this. I absolutely love it. And I can use it on dry hair. So tomorrow if I need to, if I'm going out or something and I just need to kind of freshen up my hair, I'll just put a little bit of heat protect spray on and just run over my hair with this. And anyway, I just love it. If I haven't raved about it enough, uh, if you'd like me to do a little tutorial on how I use it kind of to try and blow dry all my layers, then let me know in the comments below or leave this video a thumbs up or something and I will do that. And lastly on my hair, I am loving, you know I love Show Beauty and you know I love all their hair care products and kind of, you know, the, the oil and the thermal protect spray I can't live without now. The latest addition to my show stash is their Decadence Hair Fragrance and it's the same fragrance that you find throughout all their products so nothing is going to clash if you're using all the different show products, which I do. And this is a little, oh, it's just gorgeous. Sorry, I should just show it to you first. It's a cute little bottle and it looks like a little perfume bottle. So you could even whip this out of your handbag if you're out and about. And it's just a gorgeous kind of vanilla. I'm just going to spray a little bit for you and you can see it's a very fine mist that kind of doesn't weigh the hair down. I'm not sure if it does anything kind of in terms of goodness for the hair, but it definitely just makes it smell gorgeous. And it might sound really odd to use a hair fragrance, but it's just gorgeous when you kind of swish your hair like that and you just get that, that kind of scent, that little whiff of, of a perfume that's not strong and it doesn't clash with other perfumes. So, you know, kind of don't worry that you can't kind of wear your own perfume afterwards. It, but it's just gorgeous. It's kind of warm, kind of slightly spicy and vanilla-y, but not sweet. It's just beautiful. Worth checking out if you are in, say, Selfridges. I know they stock it there. So worth just having a little spritz and seeing if it works for you. I'm going to move on to, actually I'll do a fragrance. I don't think I've ever featured a fragrance in a favourites video. So here we go. October is my first favourite fragrance <laughs> feature. And this is um, Alien by Thierry Mouglet. I think I pronounced that right. And if I haven't, I'm really sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And this is Alien Eau Extraordinaire. It's the new version of it. And I absolutely love it and I know that it's a bit of a Marmite fragrance you either love it or hate it and for me it's just uh, it's not even love it's obsession I absolutely obsess over this fragrance it's gorgeous and I love the bottle as well it's some really weird kind of it looks like an alien it's almost like a bug kind of weird you know it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie I wouldn't be surprised if this comes to life at night and is like stalking everything else on my dressing table I'm sure that for some people this one just doesn't work and it makes you feel sick to me I just can't get enough of it and I and I don't know that because it's so polarizing it's almost it's really weird when I meet someone who's wearing it I just I, well, I can recognize it straight away obviously and it's a bit like when you meet someone who loves the same like I love cats so when I meet someone who likes cats I'm thinking yep yeah, we're gonna get on we are or animals basically anyone who loves animals I really I just think you're a good egg you know you're a good you're a good person I'll get on with you and it's the same with this when I meet someone who what who likes alien or who's wearing it especially if they're wearing it I'm thinking yeah 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 we're gonna love we're gonna love each other aren't we so anyway try this because you can't like it's with all fragrances you can't tell like on a 
by reading about it or by hearing about it whether you like it or not you actually have to go and just just go into a perfume shop or a department store spritz it let me know if you like it or not yeah let me know because you know if you like it we can be besties so I'm going to move on to skincare this month and what I've been loving and actually finished up is the pixie glow tonic and I'm probably a little bit late to the party on this one as well so I've had it a long time I finished the bottle so I've probably had this about three four months and it's one of those exfoliating toners that you use kind of you could use it every night I probably use it about three times in a week but in the week before that week of the month before my period I will use this every night because it really helps just calm down any breakouts that I get around here around my chin so I use this just kind of over on a cotton wool pad and just wipe it over I'm really careful to keep it away from my eyes and not too close to my mouth and it really has helped kind of calm down any little mini breakouts that I might get and on that subject I've also been loving this my little glam glow which is also sadly finished come to the end of that one the glam glow mask and I'll use that as well just around this area so that has been really good this month I've actually got a couple of breakouts so I did actually use this twice three times actually last week just around here um, and it's helped a lot it has helped a lot so another little favorite of mine and lastly on my skincare and you know that I love my face oils I've got so many of them and actually I probably ought to go through them and chuck some out because you can't keep them for too long can you but anyway the one I've been loving this month is by Dauphin and it's their revitalizing oil and it's for face body and hair it says but I've actually only just been using it on my face and actually with this these two with my pixie glow tonic and this my skin has been just gorgeous this month so I'll use this swipe it over my face uh, go over with a hydrating toner and then my serum and then I've just been using this at night and nothing else just this and I wake up with really soft radiant plump skin and moisturize as well I don't feel dry I don't feel like I should have used a night cream obviously as the nights are getting colder and we're going to put the central heating on soon I will probably need to put cream on as well but at the moment this has been just lovely as my night treatment all in all in treatment kind of oil and cream and everything is all in one so I'm just going to move on to like a couple of makeup bits and I have been loving the new Clarins cream to powder matte eyeshadow and this is in the shade 04 in rosewood and it's a really warm kind of brownie taupe it's but it's warm because a lot of taupes on my skin color can look a little bit cold and in fact they have one called taupe and it's shade 3 and it's just called taupe and it's a lot lot colder it's really kind of quite gray on my skin so that is not one of my favorites although it is great for contouring because of the grayness of it but the rosewood one is just lovely it's really really easy for a quick easy eye I just sweep it on over the eyelid even with my fingers it works just as well with fingers as it does with a brush it works great as a primer for your eyes well if you want to put other shades on top of it but just this on its own with a slick of mascara and a bit of eyeliner if you've got time and you've got like a really work appropriate a day appropriate eye love 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 this and it stays on forever because of the texture of it it just stays on all day so there's no kind of moving missing eyeshadow by the end of the day my lip product this month has been lip glow by Christian Dior you know I love this because I featured it this was in um, one of my currently obsessed so I will uh, link that for you below so you can have a look at that and why I love it so much and the reason that it's my favorite this month is because when I went on holiday in the summer my handbag was stolen on the first day and this was in it and I did wait a month maybe six weeks I think before I bought it again just to know if I really 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 needed it and wanted it because I've got so many lip products and I just can't live without it so I did go and repurchase it and I use this every day and it gives my lips a really kind of plump almost as if I've had fillers kind of look although there's no plumping element to this it's just the way that it catches the light so it's just gorgeous I really really love this they used to do it in two shades it was an orangey shade as well but now they only do it in the one in the pink shade and lastly on my makeup it's absolutely a like beyond obsession with this you know that I cannot do false eyelashes hopeless beyond belief so any eye mascara that is just going to give me that false look effect I love and this new one by Giorgio Armani called black ecstasy total effect intensity mascara 
is the bomb. It is just amazing. I'm wearing one coat on each of my lashes right now and it is incredible. I, like an idiot, in my excitement to buy it, bought shade three, which is wood, brown, it's not black, and I never ever wear anything except black mascara. But even in this mid-brown color, it's not even a dark brown, <laughs> don't know what I was doing, even in this brown color, um, it just makes my lashes look incredible and I will continue to use it until I run out and then I'll go back to buying it in black. Absolutely gorgeous and I will be doing a separate blog post on this as well so I'll link that for you below. And that's mostly it I think. I've just got one thing left to show you that I have loved and <laughs> it's like an odd one actually, it's my handbag. And it's this, it's the Anya Hinmarsh, and I can't remember what it's called, so I'll put the name of it down below. But it is fabulous. I've used this all the way around Toronto just now when I was there for a week. Um, if you haven't seen my Toronto vlog, I'll link that for you below. And the next video to go up after this one is going to be a haul and a giveaway, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that, because I bought some bits over there for you, which you can't get here in the UK, and I'm gonna do a nice giveaway for you. But anyway, coming back to the bag, um, I can't remember what it's called, I think it's called the Satchel or the, anyway, I'll find the name and I'll link it for you below. And the reason that I love this so much is that it's got a lovely handle about this size, which is perfect to go over the arm, but it's got obviously the crossbody, which makes it brilliant for when you're going sightseeing. But really, really, the main reason is it's organizational. You kind of open up the zip, and it's absolutely amazing. It's got all these little pockets and it's, you can't see it, can you? Sorry. It's got all these fabulous pockets and there's coin one and there's, there's cards and there's one for your phone. And then in true Anya Hinmarsh style, there's all the pockets inside as well. So the, I mean, organizationally, it was just incredible. I got so much on into this and it was perfect for on board as well. And of course, it's got the zip at the back Oh God, it's not even that big. I'm just being all kind of left hands with it. And the zip at the back, so that goes against the body and was really, really secure and such beautifully soft leather and oh, just all kinds of wonderful. So anyway, um, I know that's not a beauty favorite, but it just, it made my life a lot easier and a lot less stressful when I was away. And it's kind of become my day bag here now as well. You'll see me kind of stomping around London in that, with that as well. So that is my favourite for the month and there were quite a few more than I thought there were going to be so I hope you stayed with me to the end of that. Do make sure to subscribe and make sure to watch the next video because as I say there's going to be a giveaway, it's going to be a, a kind of, it's going to be a Canadian beauty haul and giveaway. So do make sure that you subscribe so you get to see that and make sure to enter because I've got some bits, as I said, which you can't get here in the UK and I'm gonna give those away. And I would love for you to leave me a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do let me know if you try Alien or even the hair fragrance from Cho because I'd love to know what you thought about that. And make sure to check me out on Instagram because I, post on there every day and I'll leave that below and check me out on Twitter all my social media I will link for you below so make sure to come by and say hi and now it's time for me to say bye so I will see you in my next video bye